Hello everyone, this is Daisy Lorena coming back at you with another poem. I pray that this poem's message really speaks to you guys and as well motivates you to just praise the Lord no matter what season you're in. Okay, without further ado, this is my poem titled The Fall Leaves. Hope you enjoy it. The leaves they fall, leaving behind a naked tree. Still standing tall, it whispers, where goes those parts of me? Branches spread wide, yet empty. I remember when I would dance with my leaves and the wind would be the sound. But I am now just a naked tree with my leaves touching the ground. And the clouds stepped aside, showcasing the light. And the Lord said to the tree, there is no reason to fright. The leaves that have fallen, the leaves that have passed, were removed for a purpose, for they were not steadfast. Yes, you are naked, but soon you will be clothed. This is simply the season of fall, but in it you will grow. The tree's branches began to smile, and it replied to its king, Thank you, my creator. I will be patient and praise you for the spring. Introducing the tree that inspired this poem. <laughs> so this is obviously part of the tree that inspired the poem. And I know what you're thinking. That's so what else I want a piece of branch. I'm getting inspired. That's what I'm doing. Just a short story on how the poem and the tree are connected. Um, I was swinging in my backyard one day, I don't know if I was reading or writing or praying, but I know I was back there and I remember looking at the tree and seeing how big and beautiful it was, but it was just so empty, it had no leaves, no flowers or anything. And I'm sort of a sensitive person, not like sensitive like cry a lot or anything, but like, like sensitive like to nature and sensitive to... I guess what it brings out. I was looking at this tree and it kind of symbolized emptiness to me. It was big and beautiful, but it was just naked. Y'all think I'm crazy, but I'm for real. Like I felt for the tree. I'm not crazy. And I pulled out my phone and began writing through the tree's perspective. And that's how the fall leaves was born. After I finished the poem, I grew a little bit of love for the tree. I even got to see it grow a little bit of leaves and everything. And my dad wanted to chop it down. And being the sensitive bug that I am, I put my foot down. You gotta go through me first. The scene changes to me all chopped up <laughs> and got part of the tree. <laughs> that wasn't what I was fighting for. So at least I got this little piece of her. I mean, I will keep it forever because it honestly means the world to me. Seeing it being chopped down honestly hurt me. Like, I don't care what anyone says, it, it was hurtful, it hurt me. I almost feel like God promised it something that didn't happen or almost happened. It was like, it was chopped down to like, a little below my height it ended up now like today it's like three feet above me and it's like with all these leaves and it's so beautiful and big and I just love it it made me so happy to see it like that now because it just shows me that you know even it being chopped didn't stop God's promise I think this poem can speak to a lot of us in difficult seasons in general, but more specifically in this season that we're all in. I know that I can relate to it when God says to the tree, yes, you are naked, but soon you will be clothed. I can definitely relate to that part because to be naked is to be vulnerable. Sometimes I can feel like that during this time because I'm not used to being home all the time or picking one or two days out of the week that I get to go out. You know, mentally it takes its toll and God's like, you're right, this isn't you. This isn't how I created you to be, isolated and alone. But have faith that there's purpose through it and soon you will be clothed, right? Soon we will find our comfort again. And it reminds me of James 1 where it says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. And so during this time of discomfort, we can consider it pure joy. We can do as the tree does in my poem and praise God for the spring, for the comfort coming our way, and use this time wisely so that we may produce perseverance. And we may experience a little bit of comfort, but then like the tree in my poem, get parts of us completely cut off. 
and be so confused as to why, but maybe that's what God is trying to do with us, is cut out parts of us that are holding us back, parts of us that are not producing excellence, parts of us that cannot produce the fruit that God can truly use. And so he's trying to regrow us during this process, during these seasons. So that is all for today. I hope you guys really enjoyed my poem and the story behind my poem. As you can see, it really meant a lot to me to share with you guys. And so I hope you really enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me pray us out. Lord, thank you for using my poetry. And I pray that it speaks to people. I pray that it motivates them, Lord, to move forward in praising you, knowing that comfort is coming our way. In the name of Jesus and praying Lord that you just put protection over us you place protection over our physical bodies that we may be in good health and as well protection over our minds during these times or that we feel isolated and alone praying protection over our minds Lord in the mighty name of Jesus and they all said amen <laughs>